if we look at you, you're a successful artist. What went into your education? Was it a good teacher? Were there certain concepts that you learned at a very early age that helped you develop into a visual artist? It was a good teacher. There were good teachers, actually, who were involved in trying to send you where they couldn't go, where they didn't go. The experience of wanting but not getting there meant that they knew how to prepare you uh, to, to have that confidence in order to, to stay in. When we started out, that was we had a film on, on Calder and you saw a young kid walk into a barn that was full of stables and, and uh, calder sculpture. And he came out and he said, I'm going to be an artist. <laughs> that's because he, he had experienced it. Right. Yes. Do you think that's something that everyone needs to experience? Or is it something in which it's a special process where a certain elements come together, that person has to be receptive, and he or she becomes an artist because that's what they're made to be. They used to say, you don't have to be an artist almost, but you should experience it. I still think that art is the best. Art, poetry, writing, it's the best position in any country. I mean, artists reinterpreting philosophy, artists reinterpreting now uh, the earth, architecture, building structures is the best thing that could happen. Except that there's no one way. It changes all the time so that you're redefining yourself. And I think that the thing is, is that we, we go through periods, various periods in making art. And I think since the 50s, after the real WPA, art has been in the street. And some of the most creative things that have actually happened have been done in terms of linking the public to art. One of the things that I've been doing as, as I've worked has been to reread the important history of art, also to reconstruct at least certain uh, periods. I don't believe that art is all about now, it's a lot about before. In fact, I found out that I really love to paint like, almost like I did when I was in college. You, Sam Gilliam, uh, will be seen as a very successful artist. Um, is it a point with right now where you could just rest on that, or do you still challenge yourself in terms of you know going further in terms of the things you want to express? I have to. I still challenge myself because I could lose right now. I mean, it's not. It's not the end. Success is only relative. What are you doing? What have you done today? <laughs> In a certain sense, there is no real success. You must read, you must try a poet you haven't read before, you must be re-inspired, you try a color that you haven't tried. You are always uh, uh, attempting within yourself to be the model for the group that you're a part of. 